So I went to Home Depot and I bought 42 of these. And um, it's to build a fire pit. And um, I'm gonna put it somewhere around here, far enough from the beautiful yard so that I don't burn it down. Make sure there are no branches over the fire. So this is pretty open sky here. The Dakota fire hole is um, to help reduce the amount of smoke that comes out of the fire when we sit around it. And the way it works is that you create like an L tunnel, a little L tunnel and for ventilation so that the fire gets air from the outside to the bottom of the fire. Yeah, I can only carry one at a time, it's heavy. So I'm going to be buying um, a steel ring, fire ring, to put in the inside top when I finish building this up. Um, the inside of the ring is 30 inches, so I'm going to make a 30 inch circle. I'm also going to make sure that this is leveled. So lots of work, but let's get started. Thirty inches in diameter on the inside of it. These are temporarily being set in here just to lay it out. I have to get sand and gravel. I want to make sure I put the right amount of stones. Alright, so I set the first layer of stones down just to see um, how many I needed. So I ended up needing 14. But right now I'm going to, it looks like it's on a slope. So now that I know that the diameter, which is the inside circle, is 30 inches. I'm going to start working on leveling it up. I'm pretty sure that it's not leveled, but we can just double check. Yep, yeah. it's not leveled. So that would be leveled right there. Right, right, right there. All right, so I dug my hole down about 18 inches. And um, now I'm going to go about two feet, actually exactly two feet out from the edge of the hole out. And I'm going to dig a smaller hole. And I'm going to use this spade. I'm basically going to go 18 inches deep. And this hole can be small, so it's going to be just like the width of the spade. I should really have my work boots on. But anyway, this is going. So 
I'm gonna dig this deep down, straight down, 18 inches. So I'm basically gonna just go straight down 18 inches and then I'm gonna dig an L. I'm gonna dig across that way into the Dakota hole. And this is basically the air shaft to feed the fire with air. It's got to be the same depth because when you go across, you want to uh, you wanna come out on the bottom of your fire, not on the top. It makes sense, right? You're probably wondering, how am I going to get to the other side? You'll see. It's not going to be easy, but it's doable. I'm gonna get some galvanized wire and um, make a screen over here uh, so that it doesn't get filled in with dirt and, and stones. And I'm gonna cover it with a piece of slate when we're not using the fire. When we are using the fire, just remove the slate and then the air will flow in. But this is just a genius, genius way to have a fire. Finally came across my first root. So I'm gonna get my loppers. Listen, I'm a tree lover, trust me. This is not gonna kill any trees. That's just like pruning. Just a small piece of root. Yeah, that's from the red cedar. Across. At least I'm gonna start. So I'm just digging straight across, and the idea is to meet up with the hole that I started that way. rocks in there. I can't see them, but I can feel them. Anyway, it's not easy. you put the chicken in there? I don't think she's going to be happy in there. <laughs> Get her out. She looks like she's ready to be cooked. Come on, honey. I think she's upset. Get her out. Oh, good girl. She was like, the hell with you. I'm out of here. <laughs> Yeah, these chickens have brought so much joy to our lives. If you're out in the woods, let's say camping, or you're out on hiking and you get lost and you get stuck having to stay overnight somewhere in the woods, you can do a very small version of this 
just a small little hole and then dig it out with a little L-shaped tunnel. Make sure you have an exhaust coming out this way. And you can have a small fire and have a lot of smoke. Keep yourself warm through the night until somebody comes to rescue you. <laughs> Going to tamper the hole. I got a time for the hole. Yeah, hee hee hee, my Dakota fire pit. I filled in the um, empty gaps um, along the tunnel that we fed through the hole and I put rocks and some sand soil and some of this uh, paver base. I've been in and out of this hole so many times. I just tampered the bottom of it. And um, I'm going to put some of this paver base. Let's see. I'm gonna be happy with the results that much I know. Right, let me tamper it down. I think that's enough. Basically, just making it nice and flat so it doesn't shift when I put that heavy stone on it. Alright. Okay, now I'm going to go get the level doesn't look level all right so i actually did three layers of blocks originally i was thinking of four layers but three layers of blocks is fine each layer has 14 blocks and i think that's a good height now i'm going to see if it's leveled is level. Let's try the other side. <laughs> That's pretty good. So I want to wait for the fire ring to get here so that I can set it in. The fire ring is 30 inches so if this is a little off the fact that I have not put any adhesive on the blocks will allow me to just move them set them just right so the fire pit is pretty much done we just want to take care of a few details like for example we want to make sure that we cover this opening maybe with some sort of drain top and then also the inside that opening we're gonna do something there probably with some bricks to make sure that no dirt clogs that up so we should be able to have our first fire very soon. Stay tuned. Yes.